So our agent wants to maximize his lifetime utility. Um, so here we assume that the agent only lives for um, a time t and a time t plus 1 and that his utility of consumption is uh, this right now and that in the next period it's going to be uh, expected utility of, uh, of consumption it is expected because he doesn't really know in which state of the world he's going to be and also this has to be weighted by a beta which is uh, how much he cares about his future consumption the higher the beta the more he cares about the future generalizing this uh, for an infinite period is pretty easy uh, here we have assumed that uh, the life of the agent is finite but if we actually assume that it's infinite, that is, there's an infinite uh, uh, number of periods, uh, you would just maximize the expected uh, utility over uh, the sum of those uh, utilities discounted by some uh, um, beta. But you will get exactly the same results. The idea for the budget constraint is that at period T, you sell uh, your income to buy Arrow Debris securities, uh, which will give you uh, this income in the future and will allow you to consume this much in the future. You also have some consumption now and uh, some initial endowment from previous periods, or like you just have assets at the beginning. So this is his budget constraint. What he uh, spends over his lifetime has to be equal to um, whatever income resources he has. So we need the first order conditions for CT and uh, CT plus 1 to solve this maximization problem. So we pass this over there with a the minus sign. And we introduce it in our objective function. Uh, multiply by this lambda, the uh, Lagrangian uh, multiplier for this uh, specific uh, agent, I. So taking derivatives, we get that uh, the marginal utility of consuming has to be equal to the shadow price of income for uh, this agent, I. And since the future uh, expected value of the utility of the consumer is just equal to the weightened uh, sum given the probabilities of each state for its consumption we will get this expression right here when we take uh, the derivative with respect to c t plus one taking this into account and this holds for all possible uh, states of the world now if we rearrange this to solve for uh, the shadow price lambda and we equalize these two expressions for lambda we will get this which we can rearrange to look like this this is known as the Euler equation and uh, it will hold for any s any state of the world in our possible set of states of the world and if we had uh, more periods what was this case right here it will also hold for uh, any any point in time, any t, and it also holds for any possible agent in this economy. Basically, when you're buying a, an arrow de Bruce security, what you expect is that the utility, the discounted utility, uh, you give up times the price that it costs you to buy this arrow de Bruce security is going to be equal to the expected given the probability of the state against your insurance against which you're insuring against the expected value of your future marginal utility uh, of consumption given how much you care about uh, this marginal utility so basically the Euler equation says that optimally agents are indifferent between the cost in terms of um, the loss in marginal utility and uh, the price that you pay for the asset 
you're indifferent between that cost and uh, the benefit that you receive in the future. So you don't want to deviate from this. This is optimal. In my next video, I will uh, go over some important implications that these Euler equation that we have derived uh, can tell us.